So my name is Jumana Manna. Uh, I'm showing an exhibition here at Tabacalera with a body of sculpture from four different projects, two films and a series of collages. And all of these works are from the past five years. They are distinct and overlapping in their themes. So in the back room, we have a film called Wild Relatives. In 2015, there was an agricultural research institute that had to relocate from Syria to Lebanon because of the war, but they couldn't bring their seed bank with them. So a collection of thousands of samples of seeds, seed types that are used as crop foods, uh, as the staple crops of the region. So uh, chickpeas, lentils, barley, and so on. Um, so they decided to create a duplicate of this bank that they left behind in Aleppo from backup copies that they were storing in Svalbard in the Global Seed Vault. And the film follows the duplication of a batch of seeds across one year. So the film is looking at the politics and the hierarchies of labor and economies involved in seed preservation and in industrial agriculture today. In the main hall, we're showing a film that I completed right before that called A Magical Substance Flows Into Me from 2016. And it takes as a starting point a radio program that was broadcast on the Palestine Broadcasting Service in 1936-37, made by a German-Jewish ethnomusicologist who was studying Oriental music in Palestine at the time. And in the film, I kind of take his radio program as a blueprint to create a subjective portrait of historical Palestine today, uh, focusing on the Oriental communities. In other words, the, the Palestinians, so Palestinians from different parts of the country, um, but also the Oriental Jews or the Arab Jews uh, or the Mizrahim. They have several names, but it's basically the Jews which immigrated from the Arab and Muslim world. So ex all the kind of the different kinds of Jews, excluding those who came from Europe. And what Lachman in his program in the 1930s was doing and what the film is also proposing today is kind of undermining this divide of Arab Jew that was a result of Orientalism and Zionism. So the film is a series of musical encounter with different um, traditions or different groups, uh, different identities in the country interspersed with scenes uh, in my family home with my parents that are dialoguing um, with, the, with my conversations with the musicians um, and the kind of different historical layers that the film explores. Um, and then we're showing um, different uh, sculptural series. One of them is the Muscle Vase series that was first shown um, on its own in the Beirut Art Center, but then also in Chisholm Hale Gallery together with a magical substance. And they're uh, oversized body fragments, a bicep, a finger, an elbow, um, that are made out of plaster and have a kind of archaeological feel to them. Um, but they're juxtaposed with uh, urban, urban detrius, so just garbage or kind of um, tools that are found usually in, um, in the street or uh, in construction spaces. So like a scaffold, plastic chair, uh, a big garbage can. Um, and they're, they're both um, these resonating chambers, so it's thinking about the body as a chamber um, that is where sound is produced, but also where sound travels through. Um, and the body also as a, as a place of memory, so as a, the muscles as a, um, as a different kind of memory than the one that's the recorded one um, in, in books. So as the film is thinking a lot about um, historical memory told through the senses, so through music, um, the, the, the cavities are in a way responding to that. Um, then there's also some works from the contractor's heel that again are relating to the body but more so to architecture and the restoration of heritage sites. So this installation was first produced in 2016 for the Marrakesh Biannual and it was a site-specific installation in the Al Badia Palace, that's a 16th century palace in Morocco. Um, and here in the entrance of the space there is um, a sauna of some kind or a sauna inspired construction with two oversized armpits. Um, one is an armpit shell and the other is an armpit vase. Um, and the title of this installation is Adrenarchy, which means a process that takes place in most mammals, uh, a process of sexual maturation, um, when the body starts to emit sweat and 
mouths and pubic hairs. Um, and this is a phase um, where usually one experiences shame and embarrassment um, because of these processes, but also starts to discover sexuality and desire. Um, and so I decided to place these oversized armpits in a sauna as a place which, where a lot of sweat is produced and a place that could be a place of relaxation and leisure, but also sometimes a slightly awkward space where strangers' bodies are naked together and sharing this kind of public space in a very intimate way. Um, the smallest works in the, in the exhibition are a series of collages called the cleaning collages uh, because they're made from cleaning product labels. So kind of a, the um, products that are used to clean the floor or brush the toilet with or the sink. Uh, and very often these um, cleaning products are associated with scents that are related to flowers or positive associations of smell, but produced from artificial and chemical products. So I take these representations of, of landscapes and of botanical themes that are translated in a kind of Photoshop way onto the, onto the labels and I do a kind of manual cut and paste. So it's a sky, a landscape, a sea, a bouquet of flowers, but they're not related to any specific geography or location. They're kind of a, um, um, a commodified idea of, of a landscape.